Hello guys and welcome back. In this video we're going to be looking at the MVC pattern that we're going to be using to make our calculator. So this pattern has three layers of code, each with different roles. There's the model, which takes care of our app's logic. So that would contain the core functionality and the data. For our calculator, the model will handle the calculations. So that's going to be working in the background to do all the calculations. And then comes into the place is the view. So the view implements our app's GUI. So what it does is that it hosts all the widgets and it would be everything that the user needs to interact with the application. The view also receives user actions and events. For our calculator, the view will be the window that we see on our screen. So that's going to be the main thing that we can use to do our calculations. After that, at last, we have the controller. So the controller connects the model and the view to make the application work, right? So if there was no controller, then the model would be working on its own and the view, and there'd be nothing happening on the view because um, the controller wouldn't be there. So it connects the model and the view to make the application work, as I said earlier. The user requests are sent to the controller, which puts the model to work. When the model delivers the requested result or the data in the right format, the controller then gives it to the view. For our calculator, the controller will receive user events from the GUI, so plot 1 plus 1, 1 plus 2, and then it's going to ask the model to perform calculations. And then after that, it's going to update the GUI with the result. So that's how the MVC pattern um, would work. Uh, now, I'm just going to walk you through a step-by-step -step MVC pattern for a GUI desktop application. So, first of all, the user performs an action or request on the view, which is going to be the GUI. After that, the view will then go ahead to notify the controller about the, about the user's request. After that, the controller gets the user's request and queries the model for a response, so it tries to get the response from the model. The model then processes the, the control query and then performs the required operations. And after this, it would return an answer or the result. The controller then receives the model's answer and updates the view accordingly. The user then finally sees the requested result on the view. So this is how they all link together and they all work together to help us build our app. So this is the pattern that we're going to use to build our calculator. And I'll see you again in the next video when we're going to start to create the skeleton of our app. So I'll see you then.